Every year, there is always a high school all-star game, whether it is the ABC All-American Bowl, the U.S. Army All-American Bowl, or even the Under Armour All-American Bowl, among various other high school all-star games. And these are always games that people really look forward to watching, as it has some of the best talent in the nation playing in one game, where you really get to see the future of college football all in one stadium, battling it out for four straight quarters of football. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at what happened to the past 10 MVP winners of the All-American Under Armour game. Before I move on, remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's get into it. The first MVP I'm going to be talking about is from 2012 and it is quarterback Jameis Winston. Winston would go on to play for Florida State, where he would have a star-studded career, including one where he won a national title and the Heisman Trophy in the same season in 2013. As a two-year starting quarterback at Florida State, he completed 66% of his passes, threw for 7,964 yards, 65 touchdowns, compared to 28 interceptions. After a great career as a Seminole, Jameis Winston forgoed the rest of his eligibility, declaring for the 2015 NFL Draft, where he came in as the number one overall selection in the first round, taken by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Winston has played in the NFL for a total of eight seasons with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the New Orleans Saints. He's primarily been a starting quarterback his entire career, starting in 80 of the 86 games he's played in, but he's had a couple seasons as a backup quarterback. In regards to his entire career, he's had his fair share of ups and downs, highs and lows, as some years he's been a good quarterback and other years were just straight up forgettable. In his career, he has a 34 and 46 quarterback record. Of course, quarterback record isn't always the end all be all. He's completed 61% of his passes, has thrown for 21,840 career passing yards, 139 touchdowns through the air, compared to 96 interceptions. He was also a Pro Bowl recipient in the year of 2015 as a rookie. On to 2013, the MVP winner was Vernon Hargraves III, who would end up playing football at Florida. At Florida, he was one of the top DBs in all of college football. As a two-time first-team All-American in 2014 and 2015, and a three-time first-team All-SEC member from 2013 to the 2015 college football seasons. In his career as a Gator, he would have 121 total tackles, three tackles for loss, 10 interceptions, 27 pass deflections, two fumble recoveries, and one forced fumble. He would declare his name for the 2016 NFL Draft when he was taken in the first round 11th overall selection by the Buccaneers. Hargraves would play a total of six years in the NFL, spanning from 2016 to 2021 with three different teams, Tampa Bay, Houston, and Cincinnati. When healthy, he was a pretty good player, but a couple seasons he did deal with some pretty big injury issues where he would miss over half the season. His career numbers include 290 total tackles, 6 tackles for loss, 1 fumble recovery, 2 forced fumbles, 31 pass deflections, 1 touchdown, and 4 interceptions over a 6 year span in the NFL. He is currently an NFL free agent. The 2014 MVP was quarterback Sean White. White would spend a couple seasons at Auburn as their quarterback, where he played in a total of 18 games spanning from 2015 to 2016, where he completed 61.5% of his passes, threw for 2,845 yards, 10 touchdowns, compared to 7 interceptions. In the 2017 college football season, he was arrested for public intoxication and was dismissed from Auburn the very next day. Despite having several offers to continue his football career, that would be the last time that Sean White played football as he would ultimately retire. For 2015, the MVP was defensive lineman Byron Cowart. Byron would start his college football career at Auburn, where in three seasons from 2015 to 2017, he was a backup that really struggled to see a lot of meaningful snaps. He racked up 15 total tackles and one and a half tackles for loss. He would then transfer to Maryland for one season in 2018 where he broke out for the Terrapins in 12 games, racking up 38 total tackles, 5 tackles for loss, 3 sacks, and 2 interceptions. He declared for the 2019 NFL Draft where he was taken in the 5th round by the Patriots. In the NFL, he has played for a total of 2 teams in 3 seasons, the Patriots 
and the Colts. He started in every game that he played in 2020 with the Patriots, and in his career he started in 14 of 35 games, where as of the recording of this video, he has 41 career tackles, one pass deflection, and one sack. In 2016, the MVP was defensive lineman Rashawn Gary. Gary would end up playing his college ball at Michigan, where he was a two-time first-team All-Big Ten member in 2017 and 2018. His career numbers at Michigan include 119 total tackles, 23 tackles for loss, 9.5 sacks, and 1 forced fumble. He declared his name for the 2019 NFL Draft, where he was taken in the first round by the Packers. Gary has spent four seasons with the Green Bay Packers, playing in 56 games and starting in 29 of them. In his career, he has 135 total tackles, 23 tackles for loss, 22 and a half sacks, four fumble recoveries, and three forced fumbles. Next, in 2017, the MVP was wide receiver Jeff Thomas. Thomas would end up spending three years at Miami as a receiver, where in the seasons between 2017 and 2019, he racked up 83 career receptions for 1,316 yards, averaging nearly 16 yards a reception and eight touchdowns to the air in his career as a Hurricane. He went undrafted in the 2020 NFL Draft and since then has spent time with the New England Patriots and the Maulers and Stallions of the USFL. On to 2018, the MVP was running back Maurice Washington. Washington would start his college football career at Nebraska, where he showed a lot of potential in the two seasons he was there, as he had 127 rushing attempts for 753 yards, averaging 6 yards a carry, and a total of 4 rushing touchdowns and 3 touchdowns to the air on 36 receptions for 383 receiving yards. Now, yes, he showed a lot of potential as a Cornhusker, but everything went crashing down as he had a misdemeanor charge that would ultimately get him dismissed from the team. Now, for the sake of the video to not get demonetized, I'm not going to go in on a lot of depth about what the misdemeanor charge was, but to keep a long story short, it was very, very bad, and bad enough where Washington's football career seemed like it may have potentially been over. And for a while, it really did seem that way, but in the 2022 college football season, he would be back on the gridiron, this time at Grambling State, where he had a solid season as in 11 games played, he had 61 rushing attempts for 589 yards, 7 touchdowns, averaging nearly 10 yards a carry. Next, in 2019, the MVP award winner was quarterback Graham Mertz. Mertz would go on to start his career at Wisconsin, playing there for a total of four seasons, being a starting quarterback there for a total of three. He would have his fair share of ups and downs as a quarterback at Wisconsin, and in his career as a Badger, he would end up completing 59% of his passes for 5,405 yards, 38 touchdowns in the air compared to 26 interceptions, and a total of eight touchdowns on the ground over the four-year span of his career at Wisconsin. He would end up entering the transfer portal at the conclusion of the 2022 college football season and is now with the Florida Gators for 2023. Next, in 2020, the MVP was running back Zach Evans. Evans would start his career off at TCU, where he played there for a total of two seasons, from 2020 to 2021, where in his career as a Horned Frog, he rushed for 1,063 yards, averaged seven yards a carry, and had a total of nine rushing touchdowns on the ground. He would end up transferring to Ole Miss in 2022. In his one lone season thus far at Ole Miss in 2022, he would have his biggest season yet, where he rushed for 936 rushing yards, averaged 6.5 yards per carry, had a total of 9 rushing touchdowns, and over 1,000 all-purpose yards. For the final player in today's video, it will be the MVP for the 2022 year instead of 2021 because in 2021, the game was cancelled. So the 2022 MVP was defensive lineman Derek Moore. As a true freshman for Michigan in the 22 season, he would have 8 total tackles, 7 of them being solo, 2 tackles for loss, and 2 sacks. Well guys, you've made this far in the video. Remember to smash that like button, turn on those post notifications, and subscribe if you haven't already. B. Kelly, out. <laughs>